Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back again, and today I'll be doing a very quick review on a drink I just picked up. Now, it's one of the drinks that I really don't see around here, even where I live. So, to me, this is going to be a very, very, very special one because it's very hard to find. Because, honestly, I mean, every store I go to, I can't really find it. Like, you know, not like a, like a, how should I say, like a like a wine and spirit store, or like in, you know, like a, a liquor store, but like for a beer store, this would be like hard to find, depending on where you live. I mean, for me, it is. So without further ado, uh, let's begin. The drink I'm going to be reviewing tonight is going to be the Four Loco Poco Loco. Now, I've tried all the Four Locos. I've tried the coconut, I've tried the strawberry lemonade, the margarita, the the berry UVA, um, the peach, the watermelon, the fruit punch, and the pineapple, but I have never tried this one. Now, if you don't know what Full Loco Poco Loco is, it is a uh, green apple flavor. Now, that's kind of uh, shocking to me because, you know, I mean, even it's a green apple flavor. I mean, it says Poco Loco, so it doesn't even have, you know, like a similarity to, like, the flavor, which, you know, which is odd, but, you know, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I guess they could change it up, but at least, you know, stay similar to the flavor instead of giving, you know, like, Poco Loco, but like it says... Green apple flavor, and it is, let me give me a second, um, it is an 8% alcohol volume. I can't see it. So, without further ado, before I open it, like I said, I don't open my drinks and, you know, I don't crack it or open it or rip it up until, you know, I show you guys. So, yeah. I've never tried this before, but like I said, this is brand new to me. I've never tried it before. Honestly, it's very rare to find this one because they don't have it. This is the small can. Usually they have the bigger cans, the 24, 25 fluid ounce, but this is the smaller one. This would be, uh, oh God, this would be a 16 fluid ounce. So it's small, but still it's an 8%, so you know, you got to watch out for those. So... For a full loco, I'm surprised it's an 8% because, you know, like I said, even though it's a hard flavor to find, it's still like um, a lesser, lighter alcohol beverage than, you know, the original full loco. So, you know, anyways, let's open it. Like I said, it's not open, so... Wow, that actually smells like a green apple. That really does. And if you can't see it or not, the drink itself is green. I, I can't really show it to you unless I get like a glass, but... it's It has a uh, greenish color to it, to the drink, so... Let's give it a test taste. That's actually really good. That's probably actually my all-time favorite loco. I mean, honestly, this is probably better than even the peach. I mean, it tastes just like a green apple. Now, I know there may be haters. There may be people saying, like, you know, I mean, I don't blame you, but, you know, there are some flavors in full loco that people may say, like, oh, it tastes nothing like it, or it tastes like garbage, it tastes like trash, it's a cheap malt liquor. I mean, you guys may be right, you know, for some of the flavors, but not all of them, because honestly, it depends on the person who's testing it, who's drinking it. So, you know, we all have our different opinions. So, for me, this is pretty good, though. I mean, you know, I'm surprised. I mean, for this one, Full Loco over outdid themselves because, I mean, this tastes like a Kool-Aid. It really does. You can't really taste the alcohol in it. You could, it's, I mean, it's very sweet. Yeah, that is, that is really sweet. It really does. It like, tastes like a sweet cider or like a, a very sweet Kool-Aid with too much sugar. But, yeah, there's a lot of sugar in it, but, you know... If you want to try it, and if you can find it, then, you know, 
I'd recommend it. it. Says we ID, so you know, get your IDs ready and all that shit. But you know, besides that, it's not bad. I I definitely buy it again. I mean, it's pretty tasty. That is really good. That is really, really good. Honestly, I wish I could find more of this, but honestly, I can't because they don't have it anywhere I know. I mean, the only reason why I found this is because there were three bottles. Well, no, not three bottles, but three cans left in the entire store. And when I saw them, I was like, okay, you know, I checked it out and it turned out to be Green Apple. Because I looked at the brand and it said Poco Loco. I, I didn't know what that was, but... When I, when I saw, like, the brand of, the, like, the flavor, I had to get a green apple. I'd never tried it before, and honestly, this is the first time I'm trying it. So, I wish I could find it, but I can't. So, you know, it is what it is, but I'm going to enjoy this one after even, you know, I finish this video. So, you know, try it if, you're, if you can find it at your local liquor store. Your beer, no, your beer distributor. A gas station, whatever you can find for logos. And if you do find it, you'll like it. If you like sweet things and apple. Anyways, for a uh, rating on four loco, I would have to give this thing uh, I'd have to give this thing a ten out of ten. Because this is probably the best full loco I ever had. And yes, I may get some haters saying, Oh, it tastes nothing like green apple, oh, you know, it's it tastes like, you know, cough medicine or stuff like that. But you know, honestly for me, it's good. I, li I really like it. And for you guys, you know, you have your opinions and I have mine. You know, that's the purpose of free will and all that shit. So, you know, like I said, I give this a 10 out of 10. It's pretty good. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you in my next video. And more importantly, you guys take care. Peace.